Founded 30 years ago, the Congressional Sportsman's Foundation is the only organization based in Washington, D.C. that works for hunters, anglers, and recreational shooters. Since that time, we have grown to 49 states where we are working in state houses and with governors for sportsmen and women. The National Shooting Sports Foundation has been a supporter of the Congressional Sports Foundation for at least 15 years, working together to effectuate changes and push uh, legislation and regulation that benefits sportsmen and the industry and become sort of a force multiplier for each other. What really drew me to the Congressional Sports Foundation is the fact that they're an all-encompassing um, entity for me to help bring the youth back in. And that's what I wanted to see was my nieces and nephews um, really want to get back into the outdoors. And they didn't have those things like I did as a kid where my dad and my uncles and everybody around me was in the outdoors. So it was really easy for me to go, hey, I want to try that too. Where it's not so easy for them with everything that's going on these days. So Congressional Sports Foundation was a cool icebreaker for me for that. I believe that CSF is so important to us as outdoor people because they protect the things that can be taken away from us in a rush. Hunting and fishing and trapping and the rights to the outdoors and they protect all of those things that we so cherish. You know, I think the Congressional Sportsman Foundation's greatest asset is their people. Today they have people all over the United States working to get policies passed and working with our Senate and our uh, congressional uh, people in Washington. So without great people, nothing can get accomplished. As the president of the Congressional Sportsman's Foundation, this is a dream for me. We're a 501c3 nonprofit. We need your support. Whether it's through getting involved in the political arena or helping financially support the foundation, we are looking to the next generation and building this for the next 30 years.